you can you can do fourth. What do we have here? Is that a Centennial GT? Matthew, what's up? Greetings. You just got here. I, yeah. I that was a long here. drive. Yeah, it was a long drive. Nah, just kidding. Matt no. got here last night. I've been here for a little bit, yeah. For a few hours, 12 hours. But, yes, I arrived last night in my beautiful car. Yeah, so yeah. so if you don't remember, uh, we actually surprised Matt with this car about two years ago. Are you ready to open this? Yeah, do you have a knife? <laughs> yeah, turn around the knife's behind you. Yeah, turn around the knife's behind you. That's your car. Are you? <laughs> Are you actually? <laughs> Yeah. So it's a 2003 100th uh, anniversary Centennial Edition and yeah, Matt's been taking good care of it. Yeah, Matt actually just pretty much moved down here to, uh, to help out with uh, Mustang Lifestyle and a bunch of other things and try some new opportunities. So yeah, it's really exciting and uh, I also wanted to give you guys an update on his car. We also have some wheel spacers on it uh, or wheel spacers to put on it right now, uh, which should be pretty fun. Yeah, because the rear the rear end is not looking so fantastic right now. You can see the front looks all right. I can use space too, but yeah. Well, this came with uh, bullet wheels, right? Yeah, it came with the original like uh, bullet wheels. Yeah, just like GT. No, it just came with like GT wheels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they didn't look too good. And then I found Andrew texted me that there was these were a, these were a deal. They were they were a little risky too. They they were covered in plasti dip, weren't they? I stole these. Yeah, they were covered in plasti dip. Andrew was like, "Go to this guy's house, offer him whatever I paid." I think it was like, like two hundred bucks, wasn't it? I, I ended up giving him like one fifty or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, "There's no way I'm getting these wheels for this cheap." And the tires were shot on them. Um, and they they're like covered in plasti dip. You are they OEM O three O four Cobras? Yeah, yeah, I think they are. Yeah. You can still see some plasti dip here and there, but um. Yeah, I pretty much stole the wheels from that guy and then threw on cheap tires. Nice. Here, you want to show him, uh, show him around the car? Show him some things you've done? Yeah, so... Um, Obviously dirty from a 1,300 mile drive. Yeah, so forgive me for that, but we'll start at the front of the car here. So, at the front of the car, uh, when I first got the car, the hood that I had was terrible. So, I went ahead and I got a V6 hood that's black. Paint's not much better, it's still a little chipped, but... It looks a lot better because the finish is not completely matte colored. Um, 0304 Cobra bumper. Uh, is this a bullet chin spoiler or is this a Mach 1? Mach 1, that's what it is. Mach 1 chin spoiler. Um, pony honeycomb delete. Um, new wheels all the way around, 275 tires all the way around. Oh yeah, all the interior stuff. I mean, I just moved down here so all my stuff's still in here and I have to move it out. But I have the short throw shifter and touchscreen head unit and such. I need to get some new seats. Uh, all the interior when I first got this car was completely out of it. So we actually got this head unit from, or this headliner rather, from the junkyard down here. And we got a bunch of other interior parts to make up the whole, the whole dashboard and everything there. And I tuned it, yes, I have SCT tuner in here. Uh, actually but actually on 87 octane right now. Yes, uh, it was a lot cheaper to drive here on 87. Now, which is which is kind of a cool option. He always runs 93, but 87, I mean, that's that's cool, you know, and you got really good gas mileage. Yeah, yeah. It costs you like under $100 to drive. Uh, yeah, miles. yeah. It, it cost me under $100 to get all the way here, which is impressive. That's pretty crazy. One big thing that I'm very happy about is I was able to find a rear bumper. The rear bumper of this thing was had cracks all over it, like someone had backed it into a wall and then left it in the sun, like, and it just looked terrible. So, but I found this brand new painted bumper, which doesn't look so brand new right now because it's covered in dirt, but I have a brand new rear bumper on here as well and the tips as well. I did that before I left Florida. And then, you know, it's lowered, has cat back exhaust and stuff like that, but fun little two valve, nothing too fancy, but. Yeah, you know. let's pop on some uh, wheel spacers. Let's do it. 
let's throw them on here. So the spacers I have, I thought they were one inch, but <laughs> they're actually two inch. That would be about one inch. So yeah, they're these are two inch spacers. Um, but we're gonna see. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see what it looks like. We'll if it's bad, we'll take them off. Yeah, I don't think I'll have them on. <laughs> Injury update, still broken, by the way. But we'll make do. You can, just, just do it softly. Oh yeah, you got enough meat on it. Ooh, the sun went away for a little bit. So. You know how these work? I can see kind of how they work. So these guys, I'm assuming, go in here. Yep, you got your e-brake pulled pretty good in gear. It's cranked. All right. Holy hell. Well, um, yeah, just put two of those on really quick. You don't have to like crank them. And then we'll put the wheel on really quick. Just get them like tight-ish. I, I don't know if this is gonna be too, <laughs> too fat. I think it's going to be too fat. I really thought they were one inch, but I guess they were two inch. One inch know. is exactly what I need. Yeah. Oh. And just put two lug nuts, you know, cross yeah. from each other on just to. It kind of, I don't know, it kind of looks good. It. It's kind of that fender flush fitment, bro. Um, I don't know. A little torn, a little torn. It might be a little bit too much. I'm a little torn on it, but I haven't seen it yet, so. It's the right idea. But yeah, I think I think it might need the one inch, the one incher. Yeah, I think so too. So you might get a little rub a dub dub. I'm gonna get a lot of rub a dub dub. <laughs> it already sits inside the fender as it is. It was good in theory. Yeah, you want to look at it from back here. I don't even think I you need to put. I don't even think you need to put that lug nut on. Like it kind of looks. The top one's on. It kind of looks cool, but it's also no, like... No, it looks ridiculous, bro. It's it's just one inch too big. It's legitimately one inch too big. Like, <laughs> 100%. Yeah, like, all right. can roll these fenders, but... Nah, it's just... It's, it, won't, well, it won't do anything for it, because the tire's still on the wall, but... Yeah, so we need one inch spacer. If anyone wants to send one inch spacers, just let me know. One inch spacers will make this clean. Unless you uh, happen to have a set of... 315s laying around, or 305s. Yeah. We'll throw those on there. With a 17 by 10 and a half wheel. Yeah, we'll, we'll really put them on there. It's the right idea, you know? We're, we're almost flush, but we're kind of over, so yeah, we're gonna go back to... It was good in theory. Yeah, I, I really thought they were one inches, and for some reason, they're two inches. Yeah, you, you said one inch last night, and I was like, that's exactly what I need. Yeah, well, and back to 17 by 9 fitment. Which, it's high, it's high. All right. Yeah. So you wouldn't need a wheel spacer if you had 17 by 10 and a half. I know, but these wheels, man, they were a steel, so I said, you know what? Yeah, I'll I think these look way better than the bullet. All right, well, the wheel spacers was kind of a fail, but uh, Matt and I are gonna drive down to go check on Nick. He's doing a Mantic clutch on Travis's S550. We'll film a little bit of that. Kind of wants to take one of the cars out, have some fun with it, film it. Matt's gonna be driving, so yeah, if you just wanna go start her up.
E85. Keep going. Huh? Yeah, just look at the mirrors. Just a bottle. That's good. You can leave it running. So um, it's probably gonna scrape pulling out of here. But just uh, just back up and go around the circle. I'm a gangster at not scraping, so we'll see how the, how well this goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> how it's much, definitely gonna scrape, isn't it? Yeah. How much E85 do we have? Half a tank. Sweet. So we'll fill up on the way back. Come on, come on. front lip. I think we did it. I think we did it. What did I say about not scraping? Yeah, man, you did it. Well, I did set you up for success because I told you to pull the truck forward. You did. If I didn't do that, I would have been screwed. Yo, look at these birds. Hi, birds. Oh, y'all down in Florida have some wacky stuff going on. Yeah. So, decided to take the S550 today. I haven't been in any of the fun cars um, recently. So, yeah. I apologize, sir. Eh, whatever. So we're gonna head down to the shop. Matt's gonna whip the Whipple S550. Um, if you guys were wondering about this car, it just works. It's nice, it drives. Um, it's, it's ridiculously great. loud. <laughs> it, it calms down a little bit. I, when I, when I had to pull it out of the driveway, I almost stalled it because I'm so used to the sound of my car and my car has cats. So I was like revving it and I was like, this thing isn't moving at all. And then it just goes bruh, 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 bruh. And I was like, oh no, that's right. This thing is just a monster. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding the clutch a lot, but I'm probably not. No, nah, you're doing good. So, to Port Orange, gonna check in on the Mantic install. Uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys along with us and uh, see what happens. Just an old school little vlog. Got a meet going on later, so we'll probably go to that. Um, GT500 update, it's just the same. Uh, just waiting for the fuel system to come in. Um, Lethal's waiting for some lines to come in. They actually just redesigned the whole system, so uh, that's why it's taking just a little bit. Once we do that, uh, we're gonna bring the car, we're also gonna bring the car down to Jordan's here pretty soon, film some videos with Jordan. We've got some cool things planned too, so uh, working on some new t-shirt designs, and uh, yeah. And we also have a limited amount of keychains left. If you guys wanna go check those out, mustanglifestyle.net down below. Uh, we have a few Turdzilla ones left and a few Mustang Lifestyle ones left. If you guys have any suggestions for merch, let me know. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and head over. short shifted it goes to eight. Oh that's <laughs> right i forgot i always short shift cars. you shift at like 6k oh my god dude i got scared i was like oh my god my face is behind me right now <laughs> holy <laughs> holy <laughs> this thing goes i don't even i can't even like begin to imagine oh my god what if this is 815 yeah so one other rule is don't really boost it in sixth, because six is like overdrive. Don't boost it in high. I know that. I know that when you're driving boosted cars, you don't want to boost it in higher gears because, especially when you're going slower. So low RPM, high boost, it puts a really weird load and strain on the motor. Load and engine, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So you don't usually want to do it in sixth gear. Uh, fifth gear is all right in this car because fifth gear is one to one. Oh, okay. So fifth gear is actually your dyno gear. <laughs> Dude, that was spite. Yep. Holy hell. We'll try it again a little bit. But you need to rev it out to like, let's just say like 7,600 or so. Is it gonna spin when I shift? No, you got traction control on. It was still holding you back a little bit there. Oh, okay. Because it'll spin I from a 60 roll. I felt it holding me back. I could actually, the weirdest thing is I felt it wanting to let go and then it immediately like jumped back and gave me that traction control kind of like, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? 
that this thing is savagely fast. Oh <laughs> my god! I I've ne see I've never driven it with E85 in it, yeah. and I also have never driven it after you put a smaller pulley setup on it. Yeah. I drove it when you initially put the Whipple on it, and I was when we like, first put it on, it made 6:30. Yeah, and I uh, I drove it in the rain in South Carolina for Mustang Week, and it was it was. Like skating all <laughs> over the place. It was fun, and it was honestly controllable. This is this is controllable too, if you know what you're doing. But like for me, I've never driven something as fast. So like this is cool. Oh, wow, it just kind of like <laughs> wow. This is uh, this is all reliable right here. You dude, know, she's she, been uh, she's been together for a while. She, um, she goes, dude. She goes. She just gets beat. She gets oil changes. Drives around. I can't believe you consider this your your gets beat car. Yeah, it's paid off too. Woo! Yeah, this thing is completely paid off, so it's your car. It's no longer the bank's car. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome to think about, actually. I think a lot of people don't realize how cool that is. Yeah. I'm in fourth. Should I go in third? I can. You can do fourth. at the shop Florida parking? Auto Surgeons just pull up here uh, just make sure you don't block the uh, the Ford Edge just keep pulling forward so what do we got Ooh, we got a Cobra got a Termi that's good what is this little bad boy here this Nicholas Hola. what's up hey, bro, you're hey. going too fast for me yeah, <laughs> You got the clutch in already? Yeah, and that's it has been taking a lunch break too. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go film a little bit of it. I'm gonna get out. I'm a little slow though. All right, so on Travis's car, we got a Mantic twin disc being installed. I think Nick also did a stainless steel clutch line as well, uh, right? Yeah, by uh, McLeod that, yeah. Racing. Yep. We got a new slave that's included with the Mantic. And then Nick's also put an MGW shifter on this too. Yeah, the, the color combination, I've given it the nickname Iron Man. Nice. Yeah, the MT-82 does really well with the Mantic. Um, this car right here has 65,000 miles on it with a stock MT-82 and one of these clutches in it, so. Yeah, and this thing just ticked over 73,000 about a few days ago. Oh, you got 73 on it? Oh, wow. yeah. It's almost 73 two now. Nice. Yep, I've got Nick, Florida Auto Surgeons, banging it out. Yep, MGW X spec with a flat stick option, only available as far as I know at LeaderPerformance.com. Nice, sweet yeah, deal. So it was a broken sh shifter, like right at the ba there. It like is basically like, and such a weird clean break. It is. Let me I see didn't that. No, it was broken. Me neither. Just pulled it off. And Where it's broken off. wouldn't affect anything, though. You wouldn't feel that. Oh, okay. It's just broken on part of the mechanism. Like you wouldn't probably notice at all. Yeah, that. I didn't even want to expect that. If anything, I fear would be like something on, on the shifter body itself. And don't break your knee. I'm not trying <laughs> to break yours again. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's like asking me to help. Max screwed his knee up too. No, no, no one screwed up their knees. So while Andrew's sitting down, I'm gonna show off this here Terminator. 
I don't believe this is the same color as Andrew's. It might be Red Fire, but I don't know. But yeah, Terminator, pretty car. Who doesn't like a Terminator though? Definitely needs a good cleaning. Oh, oh, that makes me sad, boys and girls. But yeah, other than a cleaning, I mean, it's a Terminator. S550, of course. This car is insane. That's pretty. Andrew, what happened to your leg? I broke today. How you feeling? He used the spec stage three. <laughs> yeah. Somebody with a Termi let him drive their car with a spec stage three in it. <laughs> oh! We put that spec yeah. because it doesn't work right. You can, you can probably, like, like that's a pretty setup. All this mm -hmm. connected to it, and that's it a whole the lot of hard work. So stiff, so well, short, and you feel the rigidness in it. Yeah. I like these. I like these ones a lot. I know the S550 has that feel to it. I don't know why, but the S550 likes to bang its own gears if you don't gingerly put it in. You'll learn one day. There it is. So like I mentioned before, it's connected here and here and here to the transmission, so it's... The, no slop and it's gonna be as, so, as solid as you can, can get it with a shifter like this. It's it's very, very stiff. Yeah, you're gonna know when you're when you're in, in the wrong gear. It's also very pretty, but you never really see any of that. But for right now, we can admire it. I need to stop buying race car parts and buy a new tranny jack. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. She'll get there. Dude, this thing has made me some serious money though, and it's just beat. Well, she's up in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to attach the ball housing, bolt that up, and then we're going to pump it up before we do anything else. That way we can ensure we have clutch pedal before putting the rest of the car together. I think that's a good idea, sir. And a few short hours later, everything is buttoned up. There's a new clutch in the car and a new shifter. Yeah. New exhaust bolts. And new exhaust bolts. <laughs> Are you covering the microphone? Am I what? Are you covering the microphone? Oh. And a few short hours later, there's a new clutch and a new shifter and new exhaust bolts because it's an S550. And yeah. Alright, two Mantic equipped cars. If you guys need a Mantic, hit me up. You sell them through the website. Travis got his through me. And it uh, looks like a wild Mustang's coming my way. You're good, you can keep coming forward. Or not. How's it working? Yep. Yep. You got that MGW. You just gotta put the boot on, right? Yeah, I gotta modify it. Yeah, I think you gotta take the. Uh, the... You gotta cut this thing off. Yep. Very nice. So another thing you need to do when you change a clutch on a S550 or actually just a Coyote in vehicle functions, uh, special functions, continue. There's a crank relearn process right there. And we're just gonna follow the instructions there and it's going to basically uh, learn the weight on the back of the flywheel. If you don't do this, uh, you'll have a bunch of misfire codes basically. All right, crank relearn successful. Make it's just uh, buttoning up the MGW and that's it. Yeah, it looks good. I like the, uh, the look of the MGW there. Got the lethal knob. Very nice. It's not really. It works. All right. Well, we're probably gonna get out of here. Travis is gonna enjoy his new clutch. He's gonna break it in. What? Uh, I'm probably just gonna hop in with you. Yep. All right, Travis.
Catch you later. Catch you late. later. Enjoy the clutch and shifter and all that. Why are you and... guys, why are you going? <laughs> all right, we're headed back. Yes, sir, we are. Filled her up, we got a bunch of E85s. <laughs> all right guys i think we're gonna end the video here uh it is raining typical florida kind of in the uh, hurricane season summer spring area so um yeah so we made it back matt enjoyed the s550 oh this thing is amazing yeah so we're probably gonna be doing some uh cool things with matt's car and um it should be fun and oh crap it's starting to rain more <laughs> it's starting to rain harder now that we <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, so make sure you guys left the like button down below. Uh, go check out MustangLifestyle.net. If you need a supercharger kit, um, some PC coilovers, anything like that, let me know. Um, you can also go ahead and purchase them um, or text me if you guys have some questions and uh, I can help you guys out. Uh, so anyway guys, we will see you in the next one and look forward to plenty more uh, fun things going on.